Hello and welcome to another video. Today I will show you my latest update which is version 2.5. Yeah, I have been working on the program a lot lately and um, I did a lot of bug fixes uh, in the first place um, but also some minor changes um, which you can see. So let's get started. First of all, if you already have version 2.4 installed, you can um, you should have this git file on your computer already. Um, you can you could use this to update um, to version 2.5, but I do recommend um, using the uh, latest um, git version as well. So I will just go ahead and uh, remove this file and re-download it via pastebin. So type in pastebin get and uh, the, this code you can find it in the video, video description as well. Um, Redownload it and execute it. Um, yeah, he, nothing changed in this menu, so you can just type in English and um, the uh, version you want to download. You can uh, download the release ver version, which I will be using for uh, the purpose of this video. But if you want to um, test earlier versions and get uh, versions um, before release, um, <clears throat> before I release it, you can um, choose the beta version as well. So I will take uh, choose one here, and yeah, this screen should be quite familiar if you have installed the program before. It's just uh, the same text with uh, the new version number, and yeah. We will just go through this uh, process just a moment and we'll download the files again and uh, this is also not I haven't changed this uh, screen as well and now if you um, yeah the program is uh, finished downloading you can ignore these um, yeah these text here um, because this is going to uh, this is just a little small information for me which version is currently installed and which version is um, the newest one because I have updated um, the program so it will now go ahead and um, get new updates by itself so this should work in theory quite fine um, yeah we'll set the main menu to English you can see um, the update button um, is now, I have removed the update button. This one um, isn't uh, necessary any longer because of this uh, setup here. It will just go ahead and uh, download the new version if there is any by itself. In general, the program hasn't changed um, from what you can see, just a little bit uh, uh, of bug fixes. So the um, program will go ahead and calculate the reactor and the turbines again. Um, this will just take a second, so I'll make a small cut here. And we are back. And now it should finish any moment. Yeah, that's it. Um, I have changed this display a little bit. Um, you can see all turbines uh, which, of an, which with number lower than 10 will have this leading zeros here. Um, this is just for format purposes, so the screen does look a little bit nicer and all the dots and later um, the OK will show up so that are um, they are aligned a little bit better and yeah, this just looks a little bit nicer. And when these two are finished, we will see the main screen again. Um, just a second, there it is. Um, I haven't changed um, the layout of this screen, so this should be just as it was before. Um, what I do have changed is the um, how the button will work. So in theory, this button should work a little bit better than before. Also, if you hit this, uh, the options button or um, no, the reboot button, this should work fine. Which I um, also have um, fixed is the bug with that um, button on the main menu, the on-off switch for this um, main menu screen. So if you just turn it off, it will work just fine. Um, if you have a look in the inside the computer screen, just don't get confused by this. You can just ignore this. 
this is just for me for some um, information. Yeah, the next thing I have changed is um, the way how um, these energy storage will be detected by the program. It should work uh, a little bit better for those who had uh, troubles um, connecting an energy storage. Um, if you have, uh, I use a vibrant capacitor bank in my case, if you just um, have a look at the um, name, you can, uh, you will see in this, uh, in the chat. Um, the program detected the um, energy storage by its name before. Now it doesn't. It um, now goes ahead and check if this block is capable of um, executing the um, function which gets the um, energy capacity um, back to the computer. Of course, my program will just break if you just disable this while running. Um, so um, you can use any um, energy storage block which does support the uh, function to get energy should work now instead of um, yeah using the the actually actual name of the um, energy storage yeah and that's about it um, I hope this new version uh, is working much smoother than uh, the versions before that, especially version 2.4. Some of you had the bug um, that the program um, just didn't start again. If you reboot the computer, or press that reboot button here, um, this should be fixed. Um, and a lot of other small and minor bug fixes. Um, I did some code cleanup work and yeah. If you want to um, have a look, you can have a look at the change log. I will uh, put the link to it um, in the video description as well. Um, if you you can read everything I have changed there, and if you want to have a deeper look into the uh, into what I have changed uh, at the code, you can also have a look at my GitHub page and have a look at my comments there. So you will there will you will get the um, yeah all changes I made. Yeah, that's about it. Um, I thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy the new version. Um, and yeah, see you next time.